Hey, welcome back, friends. Got a big one for you today. The all-new 370DV Solitude from Grand Design RV. This one came out at Open House in 2023. This is a 2024 model. Today, we're going to go walk the exterior, then we'll go inside. This is a very impressive unit. I think you're going to want to see it. Hope you stick around. All right, we've got some weird lighting going on, but this is a white unit with gray and black accents. And uh, this, is a, this is a nice unit. You can see numbers coming up on your screen as I'm showing you the first impression here. This is a, this is a luxury fifth wheel, that's for sure. You got your more ride pin box. We'll go through the exterior first, like I mentioned. You've got your prep for a Jenny, rocking and rolling right there. You've got your hydraulic leveling right there. You can see your reservoir of hydraulic fluid and then you've got your batteries here, your battery disconnect, your solar disconnect, all of that rocking and rolling. You've got solar on this unit, obviously, since you have a disconnect. But yeah, nice big front access to all of that stuff. Now, speaking of access, holy cow, look at all of this. This is crazy. I mean, I just, uh, if you've never seen one of these in real life, this is a massive storage here. I mean, you could fit, uh, a, not to be morbid, but you could fit a couple of coffins in here. It's massive. Uh, you got your onboard vacuum right there. You'll see that in just a second when we go inside. Let's see what we got in here. Got a little access area, it looks like. Okay, I don't want to mess it up. But it uh, looks like you have access. There's hinges here. So you should have access to something you might need to get to right there. I'm not going to mess with it. I don't feel like messing up a several thousand dollar fifth wheel. There's another battery disconnect right there. You're going to see that hose reel here in just a second. Good looking unit. Big, big, big windows here. And you can see the awnings too. So you're going to be closing in on probably 30 foot, some odd feet of awning on this unit. You've said double axle, you've got, let's, let's look at some goodies down here. You got your more ride suspension down there. You've got your dual axles, Cooper tires. You got your Dexter running gear, so little advertisements all over the place. You know, not just advertisements, but information as well. You got your Rockford Fosgate speakers here on your campsite, of course big through frame slide big big windows you can see the back get an idea of what the back looks like I love this big window back here we'll see that in just a second and you've got a two inch hitch back here with a four pin so you could certainly tow something light behind here let's see if I can get out through here without getting electrocuted here's your other opposing slide for the living area and we'll see just in the kitchen as well you can see you've got some storage. I don't know if you can see it. Let the lighting adjust. You've got some storage for your stinky slinky right here. You've got a propane hookup over there. You've got your fresh water tank dump right there. And you've got your auto leveling, of course. Let's move down the side. You can get a better view of the color. You can see some of those graphics. These are, like I said, there's, they're good looking units. 50 amp unit, of course, something this size. It's tall, guys. It's, I don't know, 13 feet tall, something, something like that. You've already seen those stats. 50 amp, you get your on demand heater, water heater. You've got your suburban furnace. And here's your hookup side. So all of your tank pulls are down here. Hot and cold water, of course, on and off. And then you've got your water hookup. So your hose goes in here, your black tank flush is here. You've got already got a filter built in right there. Hot and cold shower. You've got a nice hose reel right here. That's that's a bonus. And yeah, like I said, just massive, massive storage in this unit. Here's your auto level right here. Pop that open and uh, it'll start asking you questions. Haven't used one, don't, can't review it, but and then this is going to be a bedroom slide up here in just a second. All right, let's do the fun part and go inside. All right, walking into the 370 DV. Close the door behind me. Let the lighting adjust. 
There we go. She's pretty. There's no doubt about that. You've got your campsite dinette. Be nice eating right here, looking over a river or a lake, something cool like that. You've got your recliners directly across from your televator over there. TV comes up and down, hides away if you need it to. Nice big sofa back here, full width sofa with storage up top. Let's see, is this meaningful storage? Yeah, absolutely. For sure. Big storage, actually. Yeah, okay. Got the pendant lights. The pendant lights are super hot right now. Everybody's doing pendant lights. And uh, you can see them there. You can see them there. And I like them. You know, I'm of a more of a function over form guy, but so I think Brooke likes them. There's your fireplace. That actually functions as a heater as well. Repeating myself with the TV, but more storage up here. Yeah, there's your TV up, TV down. Let's see. Oh, yeah, there we go. Very nice. Doesn't get much easier than that. I don't think I've ever actually played with these things, so. Poink. Very cool. I like it. There's your, your look without the TV. Nice and open. Natural lighting. You've got some Fosgate stuff under here. Big counter space. So, especially if you have that down, counter space, counter space, counter space. Big, big island. This is going to be seven foot island, maybe. And you've got a little coffee bar over here. I think that's pretty cool. Oh, nice. you got built-in drawers here. So, open the drawer. I like it, I like it, I like it. Very good, very good. Let's see what's over here on the island side of things. Okay. All right. Very cool. Any storage under here? Oh, yeah, of course. Plenty of storage under there. And you can see it's underlit right there. You can kind of see the, the accent glow right here. It's, it's very pretty in real life. Now, these new sinks, they're putting in the momentums and the solitudes. They're really, really cool. You may have seen them. Uh, but you got the option, you can use the traditional faucet here. You can also use um, these little outlets right here that squirt like a little shower into this or even this. This is also of use there. You could rinse things in this. And then this is like a glass cleaner. So you press that down, it's like on the spring, and it squirts water into the glass and cleans it. You got your soap dispenser. It's just a really functional sink. It's, it's pretty darn cool. And then again, like I mentioned the, this in another video, this cutting board fits in there as well. So this, uh, oh, this unit's dishwasher prepped. Very interesting. Very, very cool. Where's the dishwasher prep? Hmm. I wonder if it installs like right here. All right, what do we got here? Trash cans. Yes, sir. I love it. More and more units are dedicating one of the cabinets to a couple of trash cans. That's, that's a big win in my book. Get a nice little industrial type residential a slash industrial look for your oven, stove, big oven actually. And you got a big, big fridge here. So we've got fridge up top. This is a Furion unit. And you've got look, what looks to be like, this is a freezer with an ice maker right here. And I'll assume more, more freezer space down here. Yeah, okay. These things are getting more and more fancy, guys. Old man like me has a hard time keeping up. Good looking fridge, though. Got all your numbers here. That's pretty cool. Fancy. There we go. Got a big, big pantry here. Is it backlit? No. Is there a light in it? No, there should be. Put a light in there, Solitude. Some little drawers down here. Let's see what these are. Let's see what they are. Just drawers. Okay. Oh, yep. Okay. I figured there was some pet bowls around here somewhere. Very good. Very good. Got your little coffee bar. You know, who knows what you can use this for? 
we would certainly use it for coffee, I think. I think our coffee cups would be in here, probably some, somehow we would put filters and yeah, you can use your imagination on that. Hey, there are the keys. Does that mean we can take it home? I don't think it works that way. Yeah, here's your fuse panel here, your breakers, you got your breakers over here, all nice and labeled, and you got a fuses, fuse panel right there. There we go. Good access to that. Very cool. Here are your two Coleman Mach thermostats right here. Obviously, you got dual ACs in this unit. There, let's see if I can make it work. There we go. Love it. I love how it has the light too to make sure you get everything. That's a little dust light on it. That's pretty funny. Oh, here we go. Some nice storage right here. So that's why. Uh, it was a little bit different. Hanging coat closet right here. So keep in mind, I'm coming in the front door right here. So right to your right immediately is a hanging closet for coats. Up above that is your little convenience center. And then I can't even see what's in there. Let me get up on some steps. Oh. Yeah, just storage. Okay, cool. Very good, very good. Moving right along, you got two steps here which I like, they're not solid. I like you can see, see through them. Now, bathroom's got some cool backlighting. Really cool backlighting. So you see that mirror, you got his and hers vanities right here. That's really cool. Little backlighting up there in the shower. You got some good hooks here. And, but you also have regular lighting. So it's not like you have to be in the halfway dark all the time, but it is coolly lit. Got that one. There we go. Very nice. Tons of bathroom storage. All this soft clothes stuff. Oh, there we go. Big drawer down here. Very good. Okay. I like it. And of course, more storage under there. I already mentioned the hooks. And it looks like linen storage back here. That's exactly how we would use it. Big storage there, okay. Nice big shower in these solitudes. Uh, this is gonna be significantly larger than their travel trailer lines at Grand Design. And so be, and it should be that way. People that get into these units want a little more luxury. And you're definitely getting a nice spa seat. You got, uh, you got rain coming out here, rain, rain nozzle. You got a little hand nozzle over there. Fancy, fancy. And you get your baskets over here, I like that too. Very cool, great bathroom. Moving along into the bedroom. And this is a nice king bed. I'm digging king bed, man. I'm telling you, I need to find a travel trailer with a king bed. But you got uh, you got your window a little high up so it doesn't get in the way of the pillows. You've got your windows on each side, so good airflow. I like that they incorporated these little shelves right here on each side. And then you've got a USB over here you can also see a USB hiding over there. So you can definitely charge your stuff. You've got another thermostat right here. And you got a nice little chest of drawers right there. See how big these are. I would say those are perfectly average. These are average size drawers. They're not small and not large. You got six of those and then you got the nice little hidden compartment right there. This is prepped for a washer and dryer. So there's your dryer vent right there, and then you got your washer stuff right there, of course. Rocking and rolling. This can this also has a light. Very good. Nice. Turn that back off. And of course a big closet. You got those big front closets here in the nose of the unit. This one has a light too. Very good. So you've got shelving over here. You got plenty of plenty of shoe storage, underwear, and then lots of hanging storage. So I would probably get, if it was me, I'd get this little shelf and about this much hanging storage. And then here over would be brook and all of this brook and all of that. I'm just kidding. You guys know what I'm talking about though. I'm just making a joke. All right guys, what do you think? 
Let me know in the comments section. Bring you down the steps to this. It really is a pretty rig. I mean, look at that shot right there. It's a lot going on, but it all kind of blends. Nice looking unit. All right, there you go, guys. The new Solitude, the 370 DV from Grand Design RV. I think it's a it's fancy. It's definitely fancy. I like it. Uh, yeah, hope you guys enjoyed the tour. So 2024, a goal for me is to thank you in each and every video. So thank you. I really do appreciate you guys. I appreciate you guys watching. Appreciate you guys subscribing. I hope you're being safe out there. See ya.